The mission continues in the next phase for the space shuttle Endeavour today. Yeah, a massive fuel tank is inching into its new upright launch ready position at the California Science Center. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live at Exposition Park with details on today's plans. And Rick, you are ready with that hard hat on. <laughs> Yes, you know, safety first when it comes to all of this, because this is painstaking work. It is delicate to move such a massive external tank. ET-94 there, as it's called, is getting put into place this morning, and it was just lifted over the walls that are under construction here. This is a big undertaking, one that is decades in the making. And with us this morning, Kenneth Phillips, the curator for aerospace science at the California Science Center. And this is something that you've worked on for more than 30 years. 34 years, yeah, absolutely. Incredible. What's it like this morning to watch this all unfold? Well, it's a surreal experience because it's been so long and so many things could have gone wrong in this process, but fortunately, they didn't. Right, the wind cooperated, that was one of them. Everything cooperated and the entire process of getting the shuttle here, assembling the parts, because they came from all over, the external tank today, the rocket motors, the orbiter itself, it all had to come together as a giant, very heavy kit. Right, and right now our viewers are watching the uh, time-lapse video of it being lifted over just an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, but this is all a larger project that will be put together oh, the only place in the world where we can see a space shuttle from NASA that is going to be in launch ready position. That's correct. It's an authentic shuttle. There are no fa uh, fake or, or replica parts on it. Um, it is a uh, flight certified external tank, flown solid rocket boosters because they were, uh, of course, recycled, and of course, the space shuttle Endeavour itself, which is a genuine article. So it's a fully authentic stat. No and I was reading that the external tank, this one uh, obviously didn't go up into space because they partially burn up after launch the other ones that were used in actual missions. That's right. They burn up entirely. The only reason we have external tank 94 is because we lost, unfortunately, one of the tanks in an accident when the space shuttle Columbia was destroyed in 2003. And external tank number 94 was used for engineering analysis, so it never flew. Therefore, it was never destroyed coming back into the atmosphere, and fortunately, we have it. And we'll have it on display once everything is set up. They are continuing their work this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. We're going to leave you here with a picture because it is just incredible to watch all of this work underway. So much more for them to do throughout the morning. Reporting live in Exposition Park, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. I can't wait to see it when it is upright. Thank you so much, Rick.